The Thunderbolt comes with Google Maps and Google Navigation out of the box. To enable the GPS so Google Maps and Navigation are more accurate, open the Settings menu and select Location. Here, there are three location settings. VZW Location Services, Standalone GPS Services, and Google Location Services. When you activate any of the GPS services, you'll see a disclaimer for each. Activating all three services is not necessary, but it will give you a more accurate GPS signal. To open Google Maps, open the App Launcher and tap on the Maps icon. Tapping on this icon will display your location on the map. This icon will provide a Google search function that will find nearby places such as restaurants, ATMs, and gas stations relative to your GPS location. Here, as I tap on gas stations, you can see it displays gas stations closest to me. Tapping on any result will bring you to the info page for it. Here, you can find the address, phone number, and website, as well as additional information about the location. Tapping on the More icon, you can find options such as Street View, Share This Place, Search Nearby, and add as contact. Tapping on the maps icon will show you the location on the map as well as similar places in proximity. Tapping on the layers icon at the top of the map, you can turn on different visible layers such as traffic, satellite, gas stations, parking, ATMs, and more. Layers that are turned on show a check mark next to them. To enable or disable a layer, simply tap on it. At the top of the map is a quick search feature, allowing you to search for locations easily. Here, I'll search for New York City. Press Enter to execute the search, and the map will reposition to show your result. Tapping here will show a list of your search results in order of proximity to the search. You can zoom in and out on the map using the two icons in the bottom right corner or using the multi-touch feature you can pinch to zoom. Tapping on the location label to the same location info card we were using before, there are options to view on map, navigate to the location, call the listed phone number, and street view. Tapping on street view will give you a full 360 degree view on street level of the location. Here, using a long press, you can drag the pegman where you want to go. Here I'll move the view up the street. On the info card, you also have options to share the location, search for other locations nearby, and add as a contact. Tapping the star in the upper right corner allows for easy search access to this location. To see your starred places, return to the map and open the pop-up menu. Here, tap on starred places and you'll see a list of all that you have starred. Selecting the More option from the pop-up menu, selecting Labs, you can try new features that Google has developed. 
Cache settings lets you set the option to prefetch map tiles and to clear the map tiles cache. Under the More menu, you can also find Help, Terms, Policies, Notices, and the About information. In the pop-up menu, you can also select Join Latitude. Latitude shares your location with friends of your choice, making it easy to locate one another. Google Navigation gives you turn-by-turn -turn spoken directions from one location to another. To open Google Nav, click on the navigation icon in the App Launcher. From the application, you can select whether you want directions for driving or walking. Here I've selected driving. Clicking on route options, you can choose to avoid highways or avoid tolls. There's also a quick link to Google Maps. You're able to speak your destination, type it, choose an address saved to a contact, or select a starred place. At the bottom of the page, you can also view your recent destinations. Let's get in the car and demonstrate Google Nav and Route. First, I'll tap on Speak Destination. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, Annapolis, Maryland. When you speak a destination, Google Nav will display the search criteria in the box and will automatically begin routing your trip once the load status is complete. When you begin navigation, this box will pop up with your estimated trip time, your end destination, and tapping the icon on the right, you can view route information as well as choose alternate routes. If the route you are taking has any tolls, this will be displayed at the bottom of the window in red. In the top left corner is your next direction. In 800 feet, turn right onto the I-97 south ramp to Annapolis. This arrow will indicate if you need to continue straight, turn, or exit. Turn right onto the I-97 south ramp. Continue on I-97 south for 9 miles. Along the top of the screen is written what street you will be on next. In a half mile, keep left at the fork. With layers turned on, you will see locations near you as you drive by and can click to easily add a location as a stop along your route. Continue for 3 miles. In the gray box below, the street is the following direction you will take. On the bottom right is the current road you are on, and on the bottom left is your estimated time of arrival. As you're driving, you will be tracked by the blue arrow, which will update to your location in real time. Keep right at the fork. Continue on Maryland 70 South for one and a half miles. Turn right onto Maryland 450 West, College Avenue, then continue onto Church Circle. The device will automatically zoom in and out of the map as you get closer to your next turn. Here, we are about to enter into historic downtown Annapolis. Continue onto Church Circle, then turn right onto Duke of Gloucester Street. In an area such as a city, Google Maps makes it easy to see what you have coming ahead on your route. Again, layers will continue to appear on the map along your route while they are active.
Turn right onto Duke of Gloucester Street. In a half mile, slight right onto Compromise Street. Slight right onto Compromise Street, then continue onto 6th Street, then turn left onto Severn Avenue. For this trip, we've turned on the satellite layer, which allows satellite images of your surroundings. The satellite images will even display waterways and boats. Turn left onto Severn Avenue. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. As you arrive to your destination, you will see it on the map as a checkered pin, and once you arrive, the map will automatically switch to street view. Your destination is on the right. Tapping on the peg man, you can look around on the street level view and move just as before. From here, you can select to navigate to a new destination or exit Google Nav. It is recommended to exit Google Navigation when you aren't using it anymore, as this will help save battery life.